Hi everybody, my name is Harry Jacobs and I am the North of 60 Gamer and welcome to the North of 60 Gaming channel. Here we are, January uh, 7th or 8th. I, I lose sight of the days I was on vacation. Uh, things are pretty interesting with the weather. Quite warm actually, which is playing havoc to my satellite internet. I just started using Starlink and the cloud cover is um, basically driving me absolutely crazy because it cuts in and out, which makes it very difficult to work. But that doesn't mean we stop playing games ever. So let's go down to the table and look at something new. It just came in on Friday uh, after it got lost by the post office, but it, they seem to have found it. Um, that was that rant I had about them losing something, and they said I dropped it on the ground. Magically, he came up the other day and found it. Not the original day, but the second day after I complained about about it on the internet and social media. Uh, I don't know what that means. You can read between the lines, but you know, ducks are ducks. We're going to talk about One Deck Galaxy by Asmadi Games. It is by Chris. Sizzlick, art direction by Robert Simmons, and this should be an interesting game. If you've ever played One Deck Dungeon, you know how good that game is. There's an app on Steam as well as a two physical games. There's the original One Deck Dungeon and then the One Deck Dungeon that takes place in the forest, and you can mix and match them with loads of characters, loads of scenarios, this one should be interesting because it is much, much different than the other two. So let's go down to the table and take a look at what's going on in One Deck Galaxy. So the good thing about this is one of the things I really want to stress right now is I'm going on a cruise and a game like this is a uh, very cruisable so uh, if you're looking at it you can see that it is a very small game it, it fits in a very small this is the deluxe box so it might be a little bit bigger than what the retail version will be but this is the deluxe box and we're going to explore the cosmos so let's get this open so we're going to take off our shrink wrap, as we always do. We love taking shrink wrap, shrink wrap off. We love taking shrink wrap off. So let's get this box open. Now that we've taken the shrink wrap off, we have an adversary quick guide, and it looks like a quick reference guide. Doo, doo, doo. We have the rules, which they're calling the Galaxy Guidebook. Oh, my gosh. So I'm looking at the font. The font's not bad, but the blue on black, oh my God. But we're going to uh, step through this and we're going to teach you how to play. Uh, this is a small box game, as I said, so it's gonna be perfect for my cruise. Oh, we have the elements. Now these don't look like any mat size I have. Um, so I'm not gonna be sleeving these. Oh, we have the, I don't know what these are, Federated Simulator. Oh, I see. So you can have kind of a campaign sheet going on. So you could have a campaign. Well, wow, that's kind of cool. Of course, we have a ton of cards. They look like they're warping a little bit. There's a planet right there. There we are. Because I have it so low down, it's really hard to find a spot that's not reflecting. There we are. So this here, this here is a planet. Now we'll just bring that up a little bit. And it looks like a standard card, but we have some science and technology on this. And it, it plays a little bit different than the dungeon, um, one deck dungeon. We have some tokens, very nice tokens. You can see the sort of metallic there. Um, really, really nice, really. And then, of course, what they're famous for is a bunch of dice. Lots and lots and lots of colored dice. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this out right now and we're going to put this all together uh, and see if we can't sleeve these up, learn the game, and bring it back to the table. And maybe this is a game you want to play on a cruise or on vacation. So I will be going on vacation. We are taking the Anthem, the, 
no, no, that's the wrong cruise. I'm taking a Royal Caribbean from New Jersey to Southampton in May, and then we're going to bomb around the uh, Guernsey, Jersey Islands and the Isle of Wight, uh, and then visit London, and hopefully uh, I've talked to Paul Grogan, and I'm hoping that I can get to Devonshire and actually meet him and maybe do something with Paul Grogan. That would be so freaking exciting because I'm just a small a little guy. So let's get down to the table. Let's learn how to play One Deck Galaxy. Okay, so we're going to start with the setup. Set up players. So we'll just put this aside because I know we're going to need it in a few moments. And what we're going to do is we're going to follow along here. And this is the Tin Tiddlywinks or Tin Tiddlywinks. Wow. <laughs> okay. So we need our star base cards, and we're going to need our first star base. Uh, let's just see here. We so you can see this is class two, class three. So on the other side will be class one. We're going to be need all four of them. So we're going to put them right here for now. Whoops. Yeah. So we're going to put our star bases here, starting with the class one star base. There's four, and you can upgrade your uh, star base, uh, and we'll get into that a little bit more. Let's find our, um, what are they, uh, Tin to Winks. So there is a two player side and a one player side. Let's take the one player side. We then are going to take, so we've got our Tin to Winks, Tin to Winks. And then we're gonna so they're showing us as the Explorers. So we're gonna grab the Explorers and this is a, a one player game again. So we're gonna just put that right there for now we may have to adjust as we go here's our star base oops sorry for the shadows I, I i'm trying to figure out how to get these shadows out of here it's absolutely annoying um the new studio is almost ready i gotta go put the table up today we got a nice uh table from uh oh, what is that one we just had a kickstarter too but anyway we'll figure that one out um so we're gonna put these guardians back in the box then we're going to pick um, our uh, the star base. We're going to take these cards. And we are actually, let's uh, just give them a shuffle. And you're going, why don't you learn the rule book before you present it, Harry? And I'll say, really, I this is a cold play. Um, I want you to see the game as I see it. And if I sit there and memorize every rule and everything, it, it, does, it just doesn't make sense. So I'd like to guide you through this. So we're going to take a... Uh, a couple of our influ influence type this represents our fleets on this side and you can see there's two and you can see there's a two on one side on the one on the other side then what we're going to do right out there, then we're going to take flip it and then we're going to take um, for the star and we have some research to start with two research which you can't really see there we go you can see we have two research here now so we have uh, two ships and two research on our class one space deck. And this is our player. Okay. Then we're gonna, let's shuffle our deck and we're just gonna put it off to the side. We're gonna need more in a minute, but for now we are good. Now the thing about our Tim Tullowinks is that um, we have a special thing that we can use. End the result phase with no cards in the discovery zone. I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll figure that one out. Uh, so our tech uh, is uh, use a black dice or use a tech from on an encounter in the discovery zone. So we can actually roll a black dice or use a tech that doesn't belong to us. That's that's the salvage rights. That's his special little ability. Uh, that's, that's, that's a good thing to have. Then we'll pick out our evil doers here. And we're going to play the adversary, the Nebel Wobbler Colonies. Okay, we're going to find our Nebel Wobbler. Here we are. And we are going to play on the easy side. There we are. He's got two stars. So we're going to put him over here for now. Actually, we'll put him up a little bit. We're going to put him up over here a little bit. Okay, we have our cards here. Okay, we're not going to be playing with these, 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 or these. Then what we're going to go is go through this deck, these, this deck here. And we're going to look for the Nebel Wobblers. There we are. They're at the very, very bottom. So we'll 
pull out the hungry nebula and there's the neighbor wobblers. We'll put these back in this deck card. We won't be needing them. And we're going to pull out um, the Nibbler Wobbler. Now, he doesn't have a lot of blue, so I think what we'll do is, and he's good in yellow, so we're going to turn this around. There we are. So that is the blockade side. He's got two stars here. Uh, that The harder, the more stars, the harder it is. We have event cards. And we're going to just mix them up. And we're going to put them just above. We also have our pool of dice. We'll just put our pool of dice over here. We're going to be drawing from them. There we are. We don't need that one, so we'll just put that out of play. We're going to try to play as low down as we can. We may move things around as we need. Then we have our specific Nibbler Wobblers adversary and the phase. So here we are, and the Surrey colonies. It says, the Nebo Wobbler colonized fleet will amass its own colonies, tucking cards under the left edge of the adversary card. The icons on these colonies allow them to roll dice during Escalate. We don't want to Escalate. Dice and tokens in the Horde are stored on the adversary card and will not return to the supply. So each one of these um, is a special ability for our Nibbler Wobbler. So we'll just put that right up here for now. Move that a little bit down so you can see that. We're going to be referring to that just a little bit more. And that is pretty much it. Now we're going to want to cover up. So we're going to want some of these wonderful tokens. So we're going to cover up and we're going to want some of these wonderful tokens. So on our Nibbler Wobbler, we are going to put four red tokens. So here we go. Leave our space station. I don't know if our I think our space station gets something. We created this. We've got our galaxy deck. We'll put it there. We got our reference. I think we pretty much got everything we need. Hi everybody. We've gone through the setup. We've gone through the explanation of the game. I think what we're going to do is stop it here and have part one end with just the setup, and then we're going to jump back in with part two, which will have a review of the setup and then the play of the game. So if you're okay with that, look for part two. Uh, meanwhile, subscribe and like. And I'm going to catch in part two, which is going to be a longer video, but I didn't want to make it a two-hour video. So we're going to cut it here for now. See you in a few minutes. Uh, check it out.